High eye pressure is not always bad, but it is always something that should be regularly monitored. Hi, I'm Dr. Saya Nagori. I'm an ophthalmologist and a glaucoma specialist. And today I wanna to talk to you about the metrics that matter when it comes to your eye pressure. So what is normal eye pressure? Normal eye pressure ranges between 10 and 21. and is not uncommon to see variations in your eye pressure because your eye pressure will fluctuate throughout the day. So let's say at one doctor's visit, your pressure is 15, and then at another visit, it's 17. Some amount of variation is okay, and that small rise in eye pressure is not something that you need to be concerned about. The first metric that is important to take into account when measuring eye pressure is the health of the optic nerve. If the optic nerve, which is located in the back of the eye, appears healthy, then having an eye pressure that's one or two points above normal is likely not a big deal. However, it is very important to always follow these patients because we wanna make sure that the pressure is staying stable and not trending upwards. Another critical element to take into account is central corneal thickness. In patients who have thick corneas, Eye doctors will adjust the IOP or intraocular pressure so that it's actually lower than what is being read. In patients who have thin corneas, the pressure is actually higher than what is being read. Therefore, it's more damaging for patients with thin corneas to have high IOPs. It is also very important to consider the outcome of any glaucoma testing that's done on patients with high eye pressures. Because eye pressure can vary throughout the day, the reading that we get in the office may not actually be the highest the eye pressure is going throughout the day. So if any glaucoma testing shows optic nerve damage, that may indicate that the patient's pressure is much higher at home than it is in the office. And this is an important metric to take into account when we're evaluating if eye pressure should be treated or not. Hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.